Good morning, guys. Don't mind my hair. I woke up like this. Anyway, today is the day of the week that I would normally be posting last week's vlog. And there is no vlog from last week because I didn't film anything because I was sick for most of last week. And Riley was sick for half of last week. And Dunks actually wasn't sick by the time last week rolled around, but he was working. And he doesn't always pick up the camera to vlog every week. So there is no vlog for last week. And that is my reason why. Um, but hopefully this week we should be doing some more fun stuff. Um, I say that and we'll probably do absolutely nothing. But Dunks is off this week. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Riley's just eating watermelon and watching the iPad as per usual. She's obsessed with all these little bits on the floor. This is uh, Sylvanian family stuff. Or uh, it's called Calico Critters in America. But... Um, when I went to America last, my sister gifted us all of these little bits. There's like a little schoolhouse or something. You can't see it. Anyway, um, Riley is obsessed with it because I had put it up in the attic when we got home because she wasn't really ready to play with it yet. But she's been doing a lot more small world play recently. So I had Dunks pull it out the other night. And let me tell you, when we pulled it out, I'm not even kidding. For five hours, she played with it. Um, she got up from playing with it for like maybe 10 minutes here or there So maybe out of a five-hour period there was like half an hour of time where she was not playing um, But yeah, she just I mean she wouldn't even eat her dinner because she just wanted to go back and play with the toys She was like so immersed in it I like I can't even believe that she has attention span to play with something like that for such a long amount of time but um Yeah, ever since I've pulled that out it's looked like that in there because she won't she just she just won't stop playing with it um, So I've just got little bits permanently scattered all over the frickin place And I'm okay with it because Riley's enjoying it and she's happy and if you've got a happy toddler Who the heck cares what's going on in your life? Anyway, the rest of my house is a frickin mess as well because I've been sick and the house needs a really good deep clean um, I'll probably try to do like a room a day this week until everything is clean because this is a small house There's not a lot of rooms and that's very possible to finish What do you see are you are you looking at the catalog? <laughs> you want to open that house mm, I don't think so it's just a picture all right, it is time to plant some tomato seeds. And we have got a lot of varieties here um, that have been saved over the past few years. And uh, I'm definitely not gonna plant all of them because that is just way too many varieties of tomatoes for me to keep up with in the garden. Um, Dunks did prep all this soil for me, so it's already in nice little cakes. I don't know, little starter things. And he's put little holes in there for me. It's nice to have a hubby that does some things for me every now and again. But anyway, I'm going to go through these and uh, just pick out maybe two or three varieties. Alright, this is what I've gone with. I've got some Lata tomatoes, some pink cherry toms, brandy wines, and black crim. And then how cute is this? Riley's out there just watering the ground. Gotta water the ground. <laughs> Burr. And I actually haven't shown you guys. This was this was Dunk's uh, early anniversary yeah. present. Five years. Wood. And that's what you got. Yeah, it's the wood anniversary, and uh, I just wanted to get something. So uh, got this little wooden swing, and it's a bird table. So got some bird food on there, and hopefully the birds will find it. Just put it out this morning. So they haven't found it yet, but we have, we do get quite a few birds back here. So I think yeah. they'll find it within the next couple days. Robins and blackbirds. <laughs> the robin will find it. <laughs> More water. Mama, do a snowball. You want me to do a snowball? You make a snowball. <laughs> Mama, do a snowball. <laughs> Do a snowball, okay. 
Mama, put a red nipple. You got a snowball. Yeah, Mama. You got a red little nose. Mama, got a nipple. What do you think, Riley? Oh. I didn't think of bows. I didn't think of bows. <laughs> That's for sure. Your turn. Oh, good job. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Mama, cat. Cat. Mama, cat. Ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> quick. Oh, moon is cold. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hey. think, Riley? I think I must have starved Dunks for the past two nights eating raw because, or he just really, really hates paying a pound in avocado. <laughs> but we're only supposed to be eating raw for this week. And Dunks brought home. We're going to be eating raw avocado. Not two week. cases of avocados. Pick up those strawberries. <laughs> Ta da! He brought home quite a lot of avocados. Are you craving the fat? <laughs> I've been hungry. <laughs> we got some other stuff too. That's some grapes, papaya, always bananas. There's oranges in the car. More Salad. bananas. Salad. Coconuts. Coconut. Oh, fresh coconuts. Yeah, 90 p coconut. Not bad. It's going to be the coldest week, but we're having a tropical paradise. <laughs> I realized I've told you guys that me and Dunks are having a raw week. But I've not really spoken about it, and I've not showed you any of the food I've been making, even though I've just been spending pretty much the entire day, every day, prepping food, eating food, prepping food, eating food. So I thought I'd show you guys what we're having for dinner tonight. Um, so we've got basically a soup, <laughs> soup, but really this is orange juice, avocado, um, sage leaves, and mint leaves blended all together. And then mine has cucumber, tomatoes, and strawberries. And Duncan's has cucumber, tomatoes, and mango. And this just gets poured on top, like so. And we've also just have a massive salad. And the dressing on the salad is going to be the leftover soup, because this will fill up more than just our two bowls. So, voila. That is our dinner. It's delicious. If anybody's feeling adventurous and they want to try, it's delicious. And by the way, Riley is not eating raw this week. Although she is eating a lot of raw. Like she had two bananas today, um, a couple of bowls, like little bowls worth of watermelon. She had strawberries. She had, she had something else that was raw. I know she had something else. I can't remember though. Anyway. She's been eating a lot of raw stuff, but she's eating cooked as well. <laughs> so she's got some uh, rice, I just had that keeping it warm. She's got rice, seaweed, peas, and a couple of random potatoes that were left over from yesterday that she didn't finish. All right guys, I just filmed a clip talking about how we made it to Thursday eating raw and I've basically lost interest in eating everything that we have in the house at the moment. I've really enjoyed it every single day leading up till now. And like, I don't know, something just flipped in me and I was just like, I'm not looking forward to eating anything. I'm not looking forward to making anything. Dunks hasn't really wanted to eat raw this week the entire time. He's just been doing it to be a good sport. And I don't know, I'm not actually doing it for a specific reason of like health or anything. I really just wanted, I don't know, I just wanted to do it, really. There's this not, I don't really have like a reason reason. You wanted to relive our past. Yeah, wistful memories. I don't point. miss it. I don't miss it. <laughs> I really enjoyed what we've been eating and I'm glad that I've done it because I was saying to Dunks that some of the things I've made I haven't made in like years. Like literally like four years maybe, some yeah. of these things. Starburst soup. Yeah, and it's Making so it good. Like I would definitely make that, you know, like I would make it every now and again as a meal, but I really just don't miss eating raw all the time. Like, and you know what? I didn't mind it for the few days that we did it. I've just, the point of this is I just made Riley's dinner. <laughs> She's just got some pasta because it was easy to make because I was thinking that I was just cooking for her and then I'd have to make something for me and Dunks that was raw 
but then I was trying to figure out what to make for us and uh, her food just looked really good and uh, we don't want to waste the sauce yeah, I would have to throw away the sauce because it's been open for a couple days now and you can't really keep it that long and Riley doesn't eat enough of it. So basically we're ending our raw street because we're also concerned about food waste. Except I was planning on wasting it because I knew Riley was going <laughs> to eat the whole thing, but I have to feed uh, the girl, don't I? So anyway, <laughs> but that's the excuse for him. He doesn't want to throw away the sauce. So uh, yeah, we're going to have some uh, spaghetti. Woo! <laughs> Doug's is having Not a party. Not again. <laughs> we don't miss being raw. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised that it wasn't super easy for Dunks because he... Yeah, I've only got one more meal. <laughs> yeah, Dunks is like consistently in his breakfast and lunch raw um, the entire time I've known him. I mean, obviously, like we were fully raw when we'd met, pretty much. We were never like fully raw. But um, we ate raw like... 90% of the time or even more than that like I'm talking about like if you like count things like tahini as not being raw which some people do and some people don't even though like we were buying raw tahini we weren't buying like roasted sesame seed tahini um but there's some people are like really like some people don't consider dates to be raw because they're like lightly steamed or whatever anyway I'm getting way too in depth my point is is that he's consistently always kept eating a raw breakfast and lunch like more than nine out of ten days like yeah, once in a very no like maybe out of an entire month he might have like a couple of random days where he doesn't have a raw lunch yeah but otherwise he's had a raw lunch and breakfast for years whereas i haven't had a raw breakfast and lunch like i've had like you know like sometimes i have a smoothie or a salad or whatever but i've not i've certainly just eaten cooked food basically since i was pregnant i just like went off raw completely off the rocker. <laughs> uh, but I think it was easier for me than it's been for him. <laughs> it's so funny. He's really missed his cooked meal at the end of the day. So anyway, we're having pasta for dinner and I'm really excited. All of that and I've spoken for four minutes. Sorry guys. <laughs> it's an exciting morning because my tomatoes are coming up. So all of the lattice have come up. I've got three of my pink cherries. Um, there's one brandy wine just starting to come through in there. Can you see him? The other ones haven't poked through yet, but judging on that, they just take a little bit longer. So I think these will be up by the end of the day. And then all of my black crimps have come up as well. So, happy. We'll definitely have tomatoes. I'm going to say definitely. Looking like this now. I'm going to say we're definitely going to have tomatoes. We got summer first. Ask, believe, receive. Put the intentions out there. Bruce says snowball. It's going to happen. I'm not worried about the weather now because these aren't going out anytime soon anyway. Yeah. She loves the snow. Bird table. Mm, the birds can't even find the seeds, Riley, because they're covered in snow. Uh, they'll get there. They'll get there eventually. What have you got? You got, you got raspberry fingers. <laughs> Are you gonna eat them? Are you gonna eat them? Mmm, raspberry fingers. Oh, no raspberry fingers anymore. Well, it still looks like this outside. So we've uh started playing with daddy's old bank statements. He said they didn't look very good. <laughs> He's still got a snot rag sticking out of his nose. <laughs> now, what I want to know is why Duncan had bank statements from 2006 still lying around to shred up. Just been waiting to shred them up. You don't get a chance to do this kind of stuff, do you? He shredded them to, uh, they're going to go on the compost, but um, I thought I'd have Riley play with some of it first. It's fun, isn't it, Riley? Ah. <laughs> ah. Are you throwing snowballs ah. at your daddy? Ah. <laughs> Here you go. Who was me? Picking on me. Ah. <laughs> it's our anniversary today, and we were going to go out for lunch, but somebody didn't sleep very good last night, even though she stayed in bed for 12 hours. And she's taken 
an exceptionally early nap for herself. Um, she never sleeps this early. So we're headed home instead and maybe we'll go out for dinner. We'll see. We'll see. She's just, she's not feeling so good. She's not sick. I think um, actually what's funny is it's just last night I was looking at her teeth and one of her molars has come through on the bottom, but she still hasn't had it come through on the other side, but it looked like it was like right there. So I have a feeling that's what was bothering her last night. But the good news is once that molar is through, that's it. All of her teeth are there. That's the last one. No more teething. <laughs> you got a bracelet on your arm, Riley. So pretty. Well, she's had a two hour nap. So we're having a second attempt at eating out today. Yeah. Look at the way he's playing. Huh? I said look at your bling. You all blinged out. Earrings. Wow, must be a special occasion. Well, you know, we don't come out to these super fancy places that often. Look at this place. There's, there's decoration. Hey, there's not many places where you can get a vegan menu. And, uh... And free kids stuff. Vegan menu. Yeah. <laughs> it's an awesome drive. Smiley face. Mm. I've got the uh, English vegan mm. breakfast. What'd you get? Uh, sweet potato falafel burger. Alright. And Riley's got just some chips. <laughs> cat. Okay, thanks, monkey. Is it all done? You dropped him. <laughs> Did you see poo -poo? <laughs> oh, okay. I think we better finish it there. Huh?